So epithelialization or re-epithelialization, which begins a few hours after injury, is another essential feature of healing. Resurfacing of an injured tissue is accomplished by the movement of keratinocytes from free edges, including those surrounding hair follicles and sweat glands at the wound edges. So if you look at this, uh, let me show you the pointer. If you look at this pinkish tissue here, these guys are now ready to migrate in a leaf frog manner towards the uh, center to resurface or close the wound. So the horizontal movement is stopped when cells meet and it's known as contact inhibition. So it is then crucial that this guy's uh, pathway, the pathway of these guys migrating towards the center should be free of any debris or necrotic tissue or else they will not be able to move or migrate completely. So the wound bed is also important to be moist, okay? Um, as these new guys can, um, uh, cannot migrate towards the center if the wound base is dry. So honestly, I want to tell you that the typical pinkish appearance described in the literature or textbook may not be seen but a whitish uh, pink, yeah, a whitish pink, more, more of that one, that appearance there, um, is seen in our naked eye. So ladies and gentlemen, it is extremely important to protect this tissue from trauma during dressing change or from rough uh, wound cleansing and another form of external uh, trauma, especially friction. Okay, so earlier I mentioned about contact inhibition and I want you to understand that. So when the epithelial cells from the edges, right? So they migrate towards the center, they move in a leaf rug manner like this. And then when they meet at the middle, okay, they stop their migration, they stop their movement. And that is what we call contact inhibitions. All right, so you learn a new word today, contact inhibition. And uh, um, by the way, epithelialization or epithelial tissue is seen uh, in both partial thickness or full thickness wound. So if, if you see a tissue being described uh, in a partial thickness wound and they're using uh, epithelialization or epithelial tissue or also known as epithelium, that is correct. You also see this in um, partial, I mean in full thickness wound, okay, because like, uh, you can see in this picture, once the, the wound base or the wound bed is filled with the granulation tissue, okay, the next step there in closing this wound, ladies and gentlemen, is to form this epithelial tissue coming from the edges of the wound, from the intact um, uh, skin, from the edges of the wound, and they're going to migrate okay, towards the center, like what I al already described, to resurface or to close the wound. It's what we call re-epithelialization. So if you are... Um, you, if you work in home health and you see the word re-epithelialize, that is what it means, okay? So meaning to say that uh, if this is a full thickness wound or a stage three wound, okay, so the, the, the depth or the defect has been filled with the granulation tissue and the edges has grown this epithelial uh, tissue from the edges and then they migrated and resurfaced the wound. That's what we call a re-epithelialized wound. So ladies and gentlemen, if uh, uh, you see this documentation that reads that uh, there is an island of epithelium noted on the lower half of the wound base, what does that mean? Uh, sometimes in, uh, <clears throat> uh, during your wound assessment, you see this um, pinkish tissue um, at the center of the wounds and you form like an island, okay? So when you see these guys, uh, please do not harm them because they are viable tissues. These are actually um, islands of, the term for this is islands of epithelium. So um, remember earlier when I was uh, talking about uh, re-epithelialization, I was uh, uh, saying that the epithelial cells or the epithelial tissues will be coming from the edges of the wound and they migrate from the, from the periphery towards the center. Sometimes when there is a, a preserving of um, the dermal appendages like the hair follicles, the sebaceous gland, and the sweat glands, Remember that uh, these are lined with keratinocytes. That keratinocytes, those are the cells that form your ep uh, epithelial tissue. So um, in, in that situation, in the situation when there's a preservation of these dermal appendages, okay, there will be a way for their epithelialization or epithel epithelium or new epitheliums to be arising from the middle of the wound or the center of the wound. And then in this case, uh, you know that re-epithelialization here now will be faster because you know why because the epithelial cells or epithelial tissues will be coming not only from the edges of the wound but also coming from 
anywhere at the center of the wound where the dermal appendages are preserved. So this is one of the mistakes that I've seen when cleansing or cleaning the wound is that uh, you get a gauze and you're just scrubbing all these areas because you see those uh, slough in here. Okay, you make sure that do not harm these guys, ladies and gentlemen. The concept of do no harm applies in this situation. Okay, now you know that there is such thing as island of epithelium. So therefore, when you see these guys, what uh, uh, what should you document in your documentation in your notes? Okay, you should write there. There is an island of epithelium noted on the at the center of the wound bed or the you know at the middle part or the lateral part or the medial part. Okay, wherever it is important that you need to document this so that the next clinician. Uh, 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 will be aware so that during during dressing change make sure that this uh, are not harmed okay so this is just to show you the um, uh, the dermal appendages that i was talking about earlier so <clears throat> these are your hair follicles and also your sebaceous gland so if, uh, if you, you can see here they're all lined up with um, the keratinocytes are the cells that were formed the yeah, epithelial uh, tissue okay so um, <clears throat> so this will migrate um, to the surface of the wound at the center if we have a preservation of these structures in this particular wound and then they will proliferate and help resurface the wound okay so and uh, what they call this uh, guys again the term is islands of epithelium and they're coming from a preserved dermal appendages which are your hair follicles, sebaceous glands, okay? And uh, always remember, do not harm this uh, tissue when you see them. Preserve them and protect them.